Miller's famous Flint pits here at uh, Flint Ridge Road. And uh, Roy's got us a pit open this morning. And uh, in this particular hole, it's there's a he's uncovered a vein of Flint, and it's such quality that the ancient Indians have been in on this pit. Uh, they have dug on it. The problem is they they didn't have that John Deere backhoe. But if you look here, there's some of the hammer stones that's come out of the pit. A lot of them were left right on top or down along the edge of the formation. A lot of noise here going on. And uh, I think we've had a record of 16 hammer stones that's come off of here already and uh, out of this one hole. And that's, I think, according to Roy, it's a record. So, but uh, Wade's shooting the pictures here and it's, uh, he's showing that what Roy is doing right now is he's, making a lot of noise now. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's cleaning the hole out and, and what has to happen is when you try to get all the loose material out of here as you can, and then he's probably gonna put on the uh, pneumatic hammer over top of this. And you have to have a place for this material to bust off too. So when, when he starts in, if there was a lot of mud and a lot of water in this hole, then when he, would, when he would hit that hammer and start breaking all this flint loose, then we're gonna end up, you know, with all this material, a lot of this is gonna get lost down in the water and in the mud, so. Now you can see right there, there's a, there's a gap between these two heads of flint and the Indians have been down on the sides of them and they've been digging down in there. And like I said, they've dug off what they could that comes fairly easy by taking these hammer stones and beating on it. But uh, for the most part, they've had to uh, procure it the old, old hard fashion way, you know, a lot of tedious labor. You, what do you mean? We've already seen the first. Like they've already seen this first part. Oh, okay. All right. We've got all this cleaned out. Just help Roy put on the pneumatic hammer, alias uh, Mr. Indeco the jackhammer. Basically, what we're going to do is coming down here on these heads. And the reason this is cleaned out is because we're going to. You're going to witness this. It gets real loud. But we're going to take and vibrate these heads apart, basically, with this pneumatic hammer. It's a uh, a lot of vibrations it shakes the flint loose and that's the only way and the endings could only get so much you know but one thing of it is is you know a lot what if this isn't any good well you know we've did all we could you know and he'll probably move to a different hole but with the, the many hammer stones that were found in here good chances are this is going to be some probably some premium flint we've already tested a few pieces and like I said they were digging here for a reason and it's not just uh, by chance they just happened here there was something there that they wanted and that was the quality material so here we go this is gonna get real noisy it's kind of kind of getting in position here
this will this will penetrate down in about 12 inches or more and uh, loosen the flint up. So you went right through the edge. And by that being cleaned off, that allows that to fall down into that uh, empty space right there. It's all cracked and it's all full of uh, quartz crystals. It's like a bad jigsaw puzzle. It's hard to get it all apart and this is really the only way. For years Roy has used a hammer and chisel, you know, sledgehammers and large, uh, large chisels. There you can see how it shook, how the vibrations just shake out, shake out the cracks and makes it so it comes out. Watch yourself just for a second. We got a little issue here on a. What Roy's looking for right now is some of the higher colored flint that uh, usually surrounds the edge or the surface of the formation. One problem I didn't tell you water may get in the hole. If it starts coming in, we're done. It runs in from the underside up through the surface of the rock there. This has a tendency to ruin some rock, but it also saves and brings out some of the largest pieces and most desirable colors that we find when we're digging at times. What we're looking at right there is just about probably the bottom of the formation. <laughs> 